Alright guys, today might not be the best choice to make this video because it is a little windy and I don't know if you guys can hear me clearly but I will show you how I fish the aqueduct for striper. Keep in mind, I've only been doing this for about two years so I am not the best out here. There is people with more knowledge than I have but I'll show you what I can. Um, there's not a lot of videos out there going into explanation about lure fishing but that's what i'm gonna be doing today i only use a couple of variety of lures out here but i try to touch over most of them and i'll start off with the jerk bait so jerk baits are really really popular out here during the fall spring uh, winter it's an all year round bait or lure but they're not always going to hit that so you always got to be open to adapting for what these stripers want out here so i really recommend the dual realis 130 um, i've caught a lot of fish with this it's not pricey it is 15 dollars if you get it off tackle warehouse you can find it at your local tackle shop as well if they carry them they're going to be a little bit more pricey at around the 20 dollar range so i really recommend this it has a really great action it dives about five to ten feet and it catches fish they sell it in a variety of colors but the most popular out here that i use or the most popular people catch them with are the whites the, sh the ivory halo it has more to a shine to it i'll pop it up right here on the screen for you guys uh, the browns the chartreuse there's also a local bait maker his name is kiss my bass he sells really nice jerk baits also get bent baits recently started making jerk baits if you guys want to check them out go ahead and try them out guys when there's high flow areas like this one i like to work my jerk baits pretty fast just because the striper tend to be very active when there's bait fish so they're just going up and down looking for that bait fish and they're going crazy in this flow so i like to work my jerk bait pretty quickly to imitate that bait fish running for its life basically so i'll go ahead and show you guys how i do it right i usually just cast out I'll start jerking right when it hits the water. Jerk, jerk, reel, jerk, reel, jerk, jerk, reel. You can work it in different styles. You can, you can fast retrieve. You can also uh, jerk, pause, jerk, jerk, pause. Real jerk, jerk, pause. Well, I don't really like doing that when it's high flow because your jerk bait is just gonna get, <laughs> it's gonna get ate up by the flow. It's just gonna take it all the way to the end. I recommend a shorter rod for, for jerk baits, but I'm using a seven foot two. I have no problem with it. Just be careful hitting the cement. But you kind of want to jerk in a downward just like this so by downwards motion i just mean uh like banging the drum on the cement making that bait that jerk bait dive every time you pop it so down 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 giving that action dives side to side or it just twitches give it the best action you just keep going guys and eventually you'll hook up all right guys let's move on to the jig head with the fluke so i have a three fourth ounce jig head by jnt jig heads and a five inch zoom fluke so this is going to be a quick tutorial i just cast it out 
can either start popping it right away or let it sink. Just pop, reel, pop, reel, pop, reel. Just keep working it in the flow, guys. Very simple. Another lure that you can throw out here are A rigs. Unfortunately, I do not have one tied up right now. I did not bring one, I left it in the car. But an A-Rig, you gotta remember in California, you are only allowed three hooks. So that is very important when you're fishing out here. Because if you get caught by the game warden, it is a hefty ticket. So A-Rigs work really well for striper. You tie on high tech, fluke, whatever you want on there. Um, keep it in that shad pattern, middle, middle pattern, and you'll hook up. In the flow, you probably need a bigger jig head size to get that A-Rig deeper. But when the fish are active, you'll get smacked with it. I'll put a picture of an example of what I use out here so you guys can smack them with it. Uh, like I said, I don't have, have it on me right now or else I will show you how I work it. But to keep it simple, I just cast out, let it sink. Here, I'll try to give you an example with this fluke. So what I do, I just cast out. Let it, let it sink a little bit, or you can work it fast. It just depends on how, how active the striper are. So I just let it sink, and I'll reel, and I'll give it pops. Just um, to imitate a ball of bait fish, when the striper's coming, they just go all over the place. So what the area will do is open and close, so that the bait fish will just like react. So that can uh, trigger a striper to bite. And just reel, 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 reel. Stop it, let it sink, and just pop it once or twice, or you can just straight retrieve it. it just depends how you want to. I think I've touched on every lure that I use out here. Um, I'm trying to think of another one, but it looks like that's it, guys. Um, I will provide a little section on how to look for spots because a lot of people ask where I'm fishing, and it's really easy to find, guys. Um, every gate has a number. For example, this is check 22. We are in Avenal. All right, more that way, more south, the numbers go up. So check 23, 24, and up and up. North, it goes down. So the next gate down will be check 21. You just gotta figure it out, guys. Do your homework. I'll show you an example on how to do your homework on Google Maps, how to find these check gates. Yeah, guys. All right, guys, I'm going to show you a simple way on how to find fishing spots in the California aqueduct. So say you live in Taft, you can find it like anywhere you live, just your location. Um, find the aqueduct. So this is the aqueduct right here. And zoom in and look for the structure of the check gate. So these are siphons right here. Right here, these are siphons. We're going to keep going down. Just want more to be quicker, and here it is. Here's a gate right here. Striper like to be on this side, not with the those little floating things. No, it's right here where the flow is. And yeah, guys, it's really simple. Just keep working down until you find another gate. Just keep going, keep going, and eventually. You're running to another one. Here's another one right here. Yeah, guys, it's as easy as that. Just do your homework out here. And you'll find the good spots. All right, guys. So to end it off, I'm just going to show you uh, what I carry in my tackle box. I carry a small bag, guys. Nothing too big, just grab and go. Um, I don't want to carry a big backpack out here because it's a lot of stuff that you don't use in there. So, if you guys want to pick these up, they're already all scratched up, but you can get these off Taco Warehouse or eBay. I don't. I think they're 20 bucks. Make sure you get the size 160, double-sided, and you can fit any type of lure. I got this one off Amazon. Um, 160 size. Hopefully you guys are able to see good, but quick little rundown right here. 
So on one side I carry all my jerk baits. All right, in this box I got all my jerk baits on one side. So KMB, gotta change the hooks on those. Dual Realis. Keep in mind these these colors work really well well out here. So if you wanna pick any of these up, another KMB. Striper Killer colors. Borealis. These are all 130s, guys. Catch a bigger fish. Another Borealis. One more. Spoons, guys. Spoons work really well, too. Uh, summertime with fish are more active on the surface these special for like boil season when the fish are boiling throw in a, a spook top water smack them like that another top water right here then move on to the next box let's put this one away real quick all right i have a lot i have a different stuff mixed in this one i probably have some bad stuff but this is all messed up but jig head with the flu guys they sell these at Walmart, these are uh, flukes. Um, you can get them in different types of colors. Um, a lot of them work out here. This is a J uh, VMC jig head with a white kite tech. Really good swim bait. This one feels a little empty, but jigs, guys. Jigs work really well. These are. Uh, a lot of people sleep on these guys i caught a few fish not on video before i started recording i caught a lot of fish with this uh, i don't use it as often but i'll definitely try and uh, use this more and catch with it and of course another uh, spoon i get to catch a striper here in the aqueduct the spoon but the reason that i don't throw it as much crankbaits and chatterbaits guys chatterbaits are effective out here i've yet to catch a striper uh, i had another one it was a jackhammer chatterbait those work amazing out here i don't know where it's at yeah guys uh for chatterbaits there is a tutorial on how to fish those uh by oh here it is look et fishing check them out i'll put the little video around the corner right now And he'll show you a more in-depth on how to catch striper with the chatterbait. Really effective during the summertime. Uh, we are approaching that very soon. So I will definitely check that out. And keep that in mind, guys. I think that is it for this video. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Make sure to hit the sub button. And if you guys have any opinions on what else you guys want me to talk about, uh, feel free to leave it in the comments. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I am not the best out here. There are people that know more than me, that have fished this longer than me, but it doesn't hurt to share the knowledge I have uh, with the amount of time I've been fishing out here. It's only been about two years. 